hi everyone i am continuing with the previous video that is the cloning of the deceased gene the clone it can be anything either the dna or the gene making the copies or the clones of dna is nothing but the gene cloning and the gene cloning is referred to as a process of copying the dna or the gene through recombinant dna and the transformation and the gene isolation in order to get the copies of the gene for various downstream applications <coughs> Now let us know about the what are the steps which are involved in the cloning of the disease gene. First, DNA extraction. Any genetic material it starts with extracting the DNA. First, we have to isolate the DNA from the cell, which includes the different methods are available for this DNA extraction. That is the enzymatic method of DNA extraction, phenol chloroform DNA extraction, and then cesium chloride extraction method. And CTAB DNA extraction method, magnetic bead based DNA extraction method. After the extraction, the total genomic DNA is isolated using any of the DNA extraction process. After the DNA extraction, it is purified using the alcohol based on which and proceeded for the gene cloning. And the second step which is involved in the cloning process is the isolation of the gene of interest. From the whole set of DNA, the required gene, that is the gene of interest, need to be isolated. And the technique known as the restriction digestion driven through the restriction enzyme helps in isolating the gene of interest from the whole set of DNA. And this restriction enzyme cleaves the DNA at the restricted site on both the strands and the fragment then isolated through electrophoresis and employed for cloning further. Next, after the extracting the gene of interest, selection of the vector is essential for introducing into the host cell. And the vector, vector selection is a critical process for the recombinant DNA techniques as a wrong vector can't help to drive the required genes to the target locations. The vector carries the gene of interest to the host cell, replicates and makes the copies of the DNA in the host cell. There are various types of vectors which are available. One is the plasmid DNA, BAC that is the bacteriophagic DNA bacteriophagic uh, vector and then MAC and YAC these are the popular vector system which are used in the gene cloning and it must have some of the basic properties uh, such as uh, it must be self replicating uh, and it must have the marker site uh, to insert the marker gene and it must have the recognition site for the restriction enzymes uh, its gene carrying capacity must be higher and it can't interfere with the host DNA replication. It, it has to replicate faster. And these are the basic factors which must be present for the vector to be selected. And after the selection of the vector, we have the vector and the gene of interest. And then the introduction into the host cell. Multiple copies of the DNA, therefore, uh, to obtain this multiple copies of this vector along with the gene of interest they must be introduced into the host cell and the host cell should multiply at the faster rate usually we go for bacteria and the suitable and the non-harmful bacterial system is chosen to insert the recombinant plasmid DNA for the gene cloning and the introduction text uh, for the introduction the techniques like the physical chemical or the artificial insertion are employed to penetrate the DNA in the host cell Electroporation, microinjection, and the chemical injection in insertion are some of the common methods which are also used. Once the plasmid or the vector is inserted in the host cell, it starts replicating and making a copies of DNA. And next process which is involved in the cloning is the selecting the transformed cell. Since the DNA is a colored cell and the tiny things are a specialized technique known as the marker assistant selection is performed simultaneously to select the transformed cells and with the gene of interest an antibiotic resistant gene is also inserted into the plasmid dna when the cells are grown under the suitable medium with the antibiotic gene the cells will don't have the antibiotic gene the transformed cell can't grow further those that are not having the antibiotic gene they cannot grow further while the transformed cells having the antibiotic gene can grow separate further and grow separately in an appropriate culture media. 
and the transform cells are grown under the strict uh, aseptic condition and the correct culture media to avoid the contamination and the chances of culture failure that must it must be cultured for 72 hours at 37 degrees celsius and after culturing of the transformed cell from the cultured cell the cloned gene must be isolated after the successful culture of the transformed cells so there are millions of copies of genes of interest in the host cell from that we need to isolate the host uh, genomic dna the genes in the plasmid and the plasmid dna is separately isolated using the plasmid dna isolation protocol and then it is purified in the other experiment using the restricted enzyme which was used previously to cleave the plasmid the gene of interest is re-isolated from the vector purified and collected in the dna library by using the restricted enzyme which was used for the isolation of the plasmid the same vector the same restriction enzyme is used again and the cloned gene is isolated and it is collected in the library this is about the procedure of the cloning of dna next and there are two methods uh, namely the clone genes causes the specific disorders uh, should uh, lead to better diagnosis and the ability to understand the disease process uh, and ultimately to the better treatment uh, and the, uh, the cloning of the disease gene can be carried out in further ways uh, that is the Clone, uh, disorder genes for the disorder of the known function and the cloning of the disorder of the genes of the known function uh, examples are the metabolic disorders which can be cloned by a biochemical approach uh, and another method is the genes for the disorder where the function is not known they can also be cloned if the chromosomal position is known hence they are also called as the positional cloning First, let us know about the cloning of the disease gene of known function. In general, the first step in the cloning of the gene of known function is to isolate the protein. Once, uh, after isolating of the protein, requires an assay for the protein such as the enzyme activity assay where the product can be measured. In the essence, one need to know the function of the protein in order to purify it. To purify the protein, they, were, they should know the function and after isolating of the protein, they need to be carried out an assay to determine how much amount of the product is obtained. That can be measured. <coughs> Once the protein is purified and the small pieces of the protein are sequenced, extraction in essence sequence traits. And the amino acid order is determined and the protein small pieces are they are sequenced in an order and the amino acid order is determined and the protein sequencing is difficult and it will be only possible to get the partial protein sequence the whole protein sequence that is the whole set of amino acid to be known is very difficult only the partial protein sequencing can be um, determined Based on the protein sequence, that is the partial protein sequence, a synthetic oleonucleotide DNA probe is generated using the genetic code. After determining the partial protein sequencing genetic code, the DNA probe is, uh, oligonucleotide DNA probe is generated using that genetic code. And this probe is used to search the CD DNA library that is isolate a molecular clone containing the gene for the protein. And after the, after the identification of the disease clone, the further processing step is uh, and the, the gene of interest uh, if it matches with the library uh, uh, if it matches with the gene which is present in the library and it is identified as a correct gene and later which the cloning process is done as we have seen before the what are the different steps of the cloning process uh, example of the gene of known function that have been cloned here are uh, phenylalanine hydroxylase in case of phenylketonuria phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme that is uh, for that enzyme the gene is cloned and the hexoaminidase a in case of theosarchy disease uh, hexoaminidase a is cloned and the biotidinase and the in case of biotidinase deficiency this biotidinase enzyme is cloned Next, cloning of the disease gene whose function is not known but the position of the gene is known. Hence, it is also known as the reverse genetics or the positional cloning. In positional cloning, 
the one identifies the disease gene based upon the dna sequence differences between the affected and the unaffected individual and not based on the information on its function here the the genes they are identified based upon the dna sequence by comparing the affected person and the normal person and not on the function of the gene not on fun based on the function of the gene but based on the position of the gene which is present among the diseased person and the non diseased person to find the disease causative gene the goal is to locate and identify the sequence differences which may be a single base pair change between the affected versus an unaffected individual or one base pair in 3 million base pairs of dna the size of the human genome it may, there may be either a change in the single base pair or the set of base pair between the affected and the unaffected individual next there are four steps in cloning the gene based on its position first narrow the location of the disease to a specific chromosomal region using the linkage analysis with polymorphic genetic markers and the additional markers in the region are typed at this time to refine the location of the disease gene and this is called identifying the gene critical region and this step show can narrow the gene location to 13 mb not 13 sorry 1 to 3 mb here is yeah, the location the dna sequence it is a long uh, set of genes which are coding for data and they can be narrowed narrowed for the location to find the location of the disease gene at the specific chromosomal region by the linkage analysis with the help of polymorphic genetic marker as we have discussed in the previous videos about the genetic markers by the usage of this genetic markers and the linkage analysis the particular gene can also be identified based upon which the narrowing of the chromosomal region is done and it is helpful for uh, comparing the disease gene in the individual in between the normal individual and the affected individual so for it reduces the this is called the identifying the critical gene region that is 1 to 3 mb and the step 2 usually the gene critical region it has several genes located in this region and all of which need to be identified from which the one need to narrow down a single disease causing gene from the critical gene region the single gene need to be identified which is responsible for causing the diseases and the step 3 will be the evaluate and prioritize the group of genes genes in the given region to determine which is the best candidate that must cause cause the disease uh, from the critical region the required gene is isolated responsible for the gene among the prioritizing of the gene is done that is nothing but the step 3 and the step 4 and the search for disease causing mutation in the candidate genes and the this uh, disease causing mutation there may be some of the mutation with uh, variation with, from the normal gene that is identified and rectified and it is cloned and it is stored in the library for further uh, process next accelerated by the human genome project this is with the genetic component the map is done from which the cloning of the gene is done and then identification of the gene and that is cloned as we have seen the different steps and then that is that clone gene is used for the diagnostic and the preventive medicines either it is used for preventing the prevent uh, preventive medicine as a diagnostic tool or it is used in case of the pharmacogenomics and the gene therapy and to uh, it is this clone gene is also used to understand the basic biological defect and also based up uh, so that it can be used as a drug therapy and this uh, human genome project is a uh, very useful uh, but it is practically critical to carry out the cloning of the genes uh, based uh, at the genetic level this variation to to be done is very much difficult uh. so it need further modification process uh. next these are the references which i have referred and the recombination dna by the james t watson and the michael gilman and the genetic mapping techniques and the application by lawrence b shook skook and some of the articles i have referred for the cloning of the disease genes
there are gene mapping and the genetic diseases mj smith and the p n goodfellow and the cloning of the disease gene um narsen willard uh, this article i have referred um this ends my topic here thank you thank you one and